Baltimore City Schools uh, switched to remote learning on Monday. Thousands of children, though, still don't have access to the Internet or technology to use online. WMAR 2 News Eddie Kadem shows us how the school district is trying to keep education going for them and what local leaders are doing to get tablets in students' hands. It's been nearly a month since students have been in classrooms in Baltimore City. This week, they switched to online learning, but thousands of students don't have access to a laptop, tablet, or even reliable internet. Those students are being given work packets, while local leaders work to find ways to get internet to all students. These are some of the tablets that came in. Lisa Mullock, with No One Left on Help, has made it her mission to get hundreds of new tablets donated to the children in Baltimore who need it most. We just want you to go on our Amazon wish list and just order tablets so that we can distribute them to children who need them. So they, because right now we need the tablets today. She's already handed out more than 50 tablets to needy students. So we have about 80,000 children in Baltimore City schools registered, 80,000. And more than half of them do not have internet access or a device. I believe in you. The CEO of Baltimore City Schools says they're working hard, organizing and preparing 15,000 Chromebooks to distribute. Priority will be given to our high school juniors and seniors. We are ordering additional Chromebooks and other devices wherever they are available. However, this will take time as many other school districts around the country are doing the same. Baltimore City Council unanimously passed a bill last night aimed at closing the digital divide. Councilman Zeke Cohen sponsored the bill, calling on the federal government to reimburse the city for funding to get an additional 12,000 Chromebooks and free internet access to all students. Now is the time for us to stand with our students and work with our schools to close the digital divide. We need to make sure our children can learn achieve and compete in the 21st century economy, not just during this crisis, but moving forward. The learning packets are distributed every Monday at any of the 18 Baltimore City meal sites. To learn more and to help Lisa Mullock get tablets in the hands of every student in Baltimore City, head to WMAR2news.com. Reporting remotely, Eddie Kadem, WMAR2news.